All right, guys, right now we're gonna compare the Snap-on light to the Harbor Freight uh, light, which is very similar. Um, everybody knows Harbor Freight likes to make similar products as other popular manufacturers. I mean, whatever, so what? Not a big deal. Uh, I was watching Garnett Tools and he had got the original version of this and was doing a review and I said hey I'll go check it out now Icon also makes a version of this of course the Snapple one is just under a hundred bucks it used to be a hundred bucks it's down 90 right now on the website it's been out for a while and the Harbor Freight one is $29.99 so that's a pretty big difference so they're both cob lights, chip on board lights, and they're about the same size, as you can see. The snap-on one is a little bigger. They're both magnetic on the base. They both have, when you turn them on, they both have a battery indicator. I used this one all weekend and it, and it worked great. And they both have a charge port. Now on the Braun, on the newer model, I'll turn that off. It is now USB-C when Garnett did his review of it. It was like a micro USB or something, but they have now upgraded this to USB-C. And as he pointed out, this is quality tool. It has a aluminum housing. The snap-on port is here. It's also USB-C. And but the difference is besides the size, this one's made out of plastic, and this one has a full aluminum case, which is you know it's better. They both claim to be 700 lumens. Well, the Snap-on says there's a 700 unit lumens and uh, Braun says there's a 750. Of course, you know, with marketing and whatnot. But I'll turn them both on. I mean, they're, they're both pretty bright. With the, uh, the Harbor Freight one, you press it three times to get the full brightness. With the snap on, you hold it, and that's the dim. It starts off on full bright. Yeah, looks like the Harbor Bright one might be a little brighter. Let's turn them both off. After five seconds, you can uh, you can turn it. Oh, okay. So that's a that also tells you how bright the setting is. So that's pretty nice. So you can turn that off. Button press. Turn that off. So. All in all, I actually like the smaller profile of this one. You get it in tight spots. I was working on a um, 1998 Suzuki Sidekick. Um, had to take the radiator shroud off and those bottom bolts are very hard to get back in. And I had to get me a light in there. And between the four wheel drive, the cross numbers and the towable package that was added to tow up behind the motorhome, there's not a whole lot of room, and I was able to fit this one in there to do what I needed to do. The detents are pretty positive on both, you know, as you click through the detents, they both feel really good. Look at the strong detents. The snap-on one is stronger. As far as the detents, it has a, I can feel that it has a stronger click harder to do it but this one's a little looser so I give that the snap on in that regards but I do think the call the print one is a little brighter not a whole lot of big differences I mean let's see strength of the magnet yeah the harbor freight has a stronger magnet than the snap on so 
all in all, I'd probably go with the $29.99. Now they also have a Icon version. Well, it looks basically like the same light, but it says Icon on it. And it says it's 2100 lumens and they want 50 bucks for that one. So uh, an extra 20 bucks if you want the icon one. I don't have that one. Didn't see it in the store. And I didn't see Garnett looking at that one. It was this brown one that he had. So this is pretty awesome. If the icon one's better than that. It'd probably be pretty good too. But I don't think I'd spend the extra money because this one is so good. And back to my Snap-on one now. The Snap-on one does come with a brick. This one does not come with a brick. It just comes with the wire. So that's something else that you might want to look at is having a power brick worth an extra 70 bucks. Not to me because I'm mostly plugging it in my car. I have USB ports on the toolbox and things like that. So just wanted to give this quick review about these two lights and RV Tech Pro out. Now it is worth noting that the Snap-on comes with a one-year warranty, and it is made in China. The Harbor Freight one, we know it's made in China. They never list it on their website, but the warranty, 90 days. So the Snap-on, you're getting a year warranty with the Harbor Freight, you get a 90-day warranty. Either way you slice it, you're getting a Chinese-made product. 